In this video, I'm going to show you that it's actually pretty easy to make awesome photo manipulations in Affinity Photo. For this photo manipulation, I use two images. I use the image of this toucan and I use the image of this boat uh, within this beautiful background. And what I want to achieve is that the toucan is sitting right about here on the boat. So all I have to do is cut out the toucan. So that's what we want to start with. So I zoom in a little bit. I use my selection brush. I increase the brush size by using the bracket keys and I simply brush over the parts that I want to select. And in this case, that's actually pretty easy because the toucan is shot with a very blurry background, so it's not that hard to select the token. And let's select the feet. Something like so. Maybe here a little bit. And the other foot or claw or paw and as you can see I selected too much and I just deselected by holding alt and brushing over the parts that I want to deselect by the way if you haven't seen it yet I just released a free mini course it is called the secrets to pixel perfect selections and you will find the link down below in the description it teaches you eight techniques how to make selections in affinity photo for your photo compositions you will also get 50 percent off my cloud brushes if you haven't got them already so definitely check that out so to continue on this image i can actually just start to refine the selection by hitting the refine button and just see where I can fine tune the selection but actually I'm already pretty happy with it maybe here a little bit so I just hit apply and I mask out the bird by hitting this icon so I deselected by hitting command D and as you can see we got a pretty nice cutout of our token already as you can see this part is not really nice and the nails cut away somehow so let's fix that now and I just select the mask I press B to select the brush tool and I decrease the size by pressing the left bracket key make sure the opacity is set to 100 and white is my foreground color and now I just brush over the parts that I want to be more visible and I toggle back to black to hide so I can fine tune my mask And this I will fix later. So I will go to the other claw. And fix it like this. And that actually looks pretty good already. So now let's start fixing this part. I just want to mask it and make it look like it's behind the boat so I will reduce the opacity of the bird layer and I will make a brush stroke from left to right over here. So I select the mask and I increase my brush size a little bit, make sure it's soft and black is my foreground color and I just brush out this part. And I want to increase the brush size a little bit because it's too soft. So now I can make a less soft edge. All right, that looks pretty nice. So let's increase the opacity. And as you can see, it's a little bit red over here and I don't like that so much. 
So to fix that, I will just make a new pixel layer and select the clone stem tool or clone brush tool. Make sure this is set to current layer and below and we sample somewhere, let's say right over here and we can simply brush over the part that we want to hide. But I only want to hide in the bird and not the boat. Like if I brush over here now, you can see it will also appear here. So what I do is I command click on my bird mask. And now you can see I selected only the bird. So when I make my clone layer now, you can see it only affects the bird layer. And I don't want this to be here, both of them actually. So I will make another sample and brush over here and make another sample and brush over this one as well. So when I zoom back out by pressing command zero, you can see this is the before. So it's pretty red and there's this thing down here. And when I um, put on this layer, you can see it's gone. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to make some shadow down here because obviously uh, when the bird is sitting here, the, this part should be darker. So I will cre uh, select my background layer and create a new pixel layer so it will appear above my background layer and I will select the color black and my brush make sure that this hardness is set to zero and I will just click once over here and click one uh, shift click once here and shift click once here and maybe once more so now I got this nice line over here and obviously when I zoom out it's too dark so I will reduce the opacity like so and then I want to create some more shadows for the feet. So I will create a new pixel layer and reduce the brush size because I want to make soft brush strokes. I will reduce the flow to about 9% or maybe less. Let's say 7% and make sure the black is the foreground color and I'll make some shadows right here for this foot and some shadows maybe over here for this foot and reduce the opacity maybe a little bit all right that looks pretty nice already so this is before the shadows and this is with the shadows and now I want to add some extra shadows right here so I will create another pixel layer and I will brush in with a low flow I will brush in some extra shadows right down here zoom out and maybe make my brush a lot bigger and make one brush stroke and reduce the opacity to about 70 percent so I will group all, the, all of these together and name the group shadows because it's shadows and as you can see, um, this black is way blacker to say than or darker than this black over here, which is more faded. So to fix that or to make it blend better, I will create a levels adjustment layer and clip it to the bird layer. And I will drag this slider to the right to brighten the blacks a little bit. And as you can see, our corrections, which is this layer, is still too dark. So instead of dragging it beneath the bird layer, I will group both of them together and make sure the levels adjustment layer is above all. So it will also affect this layer and this layer, but not the rest because it's only affecting this group. And as you can see in a couple of steps, you already got this really fun looking image. Obviously it's not really realistic because the boat should hang way more to the right because of the weight of the bird, but like it's a f surreal photo manipulation. So that doesn't matter anyway. And maybe we can add, uh, we can add some final adjustments. So let's uh, for instance, add a curves adjustment layer and play with the, play with the curve a little bit. So maybe make it a little, a little darker and 
reduce the highlights a little bit. Give it a slight red look in the shadows and in the highlights as well. Maybe increase the greens a little bit in the shadows. And we increase the blues a little bit in the shadows. So this is the before and this is the after. It's a very slight difference, but it's still a difference. Maybe we could darken the foreground a little bit. So I create a new pixel layer and I press G to select the gradient tool. And I'll just drag a line from down here to up. And I will go to swatches and select uh, black to transparent. And we make the foreground a little darker. Like this. Change the blend mode maybe to overlay. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty cool. And I would also darken this part a little bit. So I create a new pixel layer and slide this one over here. Do the same. Go to swatches and make it black to transparent. Maybe play a little bit more like so. And also put this blend mode to overlay. So now we got these two overlays over here, which looks pretty nice. So I can group them together and call it overlays. And actually the last thing that I would do is, um, well, I can go over here. This is the previous version that I made actually. And I would, all I would do is go open an image that I made and just copy and paste the stamp or my signature in the image. And that beautiful people is how easy it is to create an awesome photo manipulation. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you enjoy my content, feel very free to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Then I hope to see you in my next video.